Is the new Google Nest learning thermostat and the new streaming device worth the money? Well, let's talk about that. I have some thoughts on it from being a user of both of those previous products, so let's get to it. So Google just made their announcement last week about the new learning Nest thermostat they're coming out with, as well as the new streaming device. And I have a couple thoughts. First, let's talk about the thermostat. I currently have the previous version learning thermostat and it works fantastic. I've had zero issues with it. I don't have any issues with it accurately determining you know, temperature and setting the temperature of the house. It responds to voice commands. It does have a display on it that shows me the temperature outside. So do I really need to replace it? My honest opinion is no, I don't. I don't think for me, the new Learning Nest thermostat is worth the upgrade because I don't really use some of the advanced features that the current one has. So I kind of doubt I would actually use some of the advanced features that the new one has. Now it does have some cool AI integration, which is awesome. And it kind of will help learn your patterns better and how you actually use your thermostat, which is fantastic. And I absolutely love the screen on it. It's like 50 or 60% bigger than the existing learning thermostat. And it looks fantastic by the pictures I've seen. But I just can't really justify spending almost $300 for a replacement thermostat just to get a bigger screen. When I'm not sitting there staring at my thermostat anyways, I'll use my phone if I'm going to do anything like that. Um, I also have my watch and it does a great job up close. So, you know, I just don't see that that's going to be a huge benefit. Now, if you are new to the Nest Learning Thermostat, it is 100% worth the purchase. I like the fact that it comes with the temperature sensor. I personally have bought one of the standalone external thermostat temperature sensors because my house does not regulate temperature well. It has some rooms that are too hot, some rooms that are too cold. And in order to balance that out, I've been able to place these uh, temperature sensors, for example, in my master bedroom. That room is either too hot, too cold. But because I put the thermostat temperature sensor in that bedroom, I can now tell basically the thermostat, make sure that this room is always that temperature. Now, that does lead to the rest of the house being <laughs> a little cold or a little warm sometimes, but we would rather have the bedroom regulated more so than the rest of the home. So that's why we use that in there. Now, in this room, I need a temperature sensor because this room again is typically warmer than what it actually is set at on the thermostat, which is in the hallway. So I'll probably be getting a temperature sensor for this room. And the fact that the new Nest Learning Thermostat comes with a temperature sensor is huge because that's fantastic. Most homes don't properly regulate temperature throughout the entire house and in every room. So to have that is a huge benefit. While I don't think in my case it's worth the upgrade because of how I utilize it and this current one is working absolutely 100% perfect, I do feel that if you are new to a smart thermostat, you can't go wrong purchasing the new Google unit. It's fantastic. If you're an existing Nest Learning Thermostat user, put down in the comments section what you think and whether you think you're gonna upgrade. And I'd like to know your thoughts on that because I'm kind of curious of what others might think of the cost and or the added benefit of the AI and some other things they're including. So definitely hit me up in the comments section and let me know what your thoughts are and whether you plan on upgrading or not. I would really uh, like to know that. Now, today's video is gonna be a little on the short side. I just wanted to kind of make some comments about the new products that Google has announced. Of course, uh, this week they are going to have their whole event where they're going to show off their phones and all the other components they're going to be coming out with. So that'd be really cool to see that. I think that's happening tomorrow, actually. Yeah. So that's going to be pretty awesome to watch that. 
But that being said, uh, I'm actually going out of town. We're going on vacation for about 10 days. So I will not be able to publish another video until I get back. So I want to publish this to kind of give uh, my thoughts on what the thermostat and the streamer device and also let you know, hey, make sure you hit that like, subscribe and the bell icon because on my vacation, I will be testing the new Samsung Smart Tag 2 trackers in addition to the Pebble Bee and the original tracker that I have from Samsung. So I'll be doing actual live tests as we travel to determine where my bags are and where they're not. <laughs> Hopefully they're gonna be exactly where they're supposed to be. So you'll wanna tune in for that when I get back from vacation because I will be doing a pretty comprehensive video on how the trackers perform in a real world scenario. Now, as far as the streamer goes, it's their new replacement for the Google TV device. It's no longer a dongle, it's a desktop type unit. It comes with a gigabit ethernet port, which is fantastic because none of their other products had a ethernet port unless you bought an extra power adapter that had an ethernet, but it was only a 10100 port, which is ridiculous. This is a gigabit port that's built into the device. It does appear that it's going to support audio over USB, which is fantastic. And it does support the HDMI 2.1A. So you're gonna have really high HDMI bandwidth capabilities. So currently I use a Nvidia Shield Pro that is getting a little weathered, I'll say. It's not performing very well. It tends to lock up a lot. I have to unplug it, plug it back up. Ironically, they're still selling this exact same unit brand new, like to, and with no changes to it. It's had a couple software updates over the years, but for the most part, it's unchanged, which is crazy considering it came out in 2019. So yeah, um, I'm actually ready to find something that performs well. And if I could get another Google device that performs the way I want things to perform, that's a no-brainer to me, it is going to be an immediate purchase when it comes out. Because I want to get rid of that Shield Pro, and I would love to be able to get rid of some of these dongles I have around my house too, because they're, they do the same thing the Shield Pro does. They lock up, you got to unplug them, you got to plug them back up. It's just a kind of a pain. So I definitely will be getting a Google TV streamer, the thermostat no i won't be getting a thermostat but i can't wait to see what some of you guys are going to be you know posting and, and how well it works because maybe i'll change my mind who knows again hit me up in the comments let me know what you plan on doing i hope to be able to watch the google of it tomorrow but if not i would definitely catch the video once i get to where i'm going and uh, i'll be able to check that out so again Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon because when I get back from my vacation, I will have a comprehensive video with how all these trackers worked while I was out and about in the real world. I'll be traveling through two different airports and an overnight stay. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on in this vacation, so it's definitely gonna be a good test. And make sure you check out that Google event tomorrow if you can because that's gonna be an awesome event. I can't wait to see the new phones and other devices they're gonna have uh, showcased. And yeah, as soon as that streamer comes out, I'm probably gonna be buying one. So there'll be a video on that too. Thermostat, yeah, I won't be getting that, but I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And as far as whether you're gonna buy it, how well it works, some of the features. And again, maybe I'll end up changing my mind, who knows? I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for all the comments and interaction on the channel. Again, thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe would be fantastic. And don't forget to go check out this playlist right here of some of my favorite smart home devices. And we will see you when I get back from vacation.